looking for another tank and I saw that thing and I'm like oh and that got me to thinking so I gotta hold the guy to pick that up and he goes oh you need a pump ha. so now what I'm doing with this whole thing here is I'm turning this shipping container into my uh, washroom basically so I'll have um, obviously a washing machine a shower there's a shower on Craigslist a full tub kit for 200 bucks it's like an $800 tub kit so I just sold two things uh, so I have 200 bucks and I'm gonna go buy that and then so I'll have a shower and then I gotta go pick up another tank and so the tank will go right here at the beginning and then there'll be the pressure tank the pump the washing machine the shower the toilet and a sink sink somewhere in there too uh, I haven't figured out everything I just uh, the layout this is literally what I'm working on right now uh, this is my tank that I've had for a long time I took it in to the pressure wash it out because it was pretty overgrown and then I took it out of the cage and that's a new cage because I had a bunch of extra cages because the cage was like thrashed. So I'm just getting it all cleaned up and ready to use. Painted but as good as that paint job looks if you look at it from in here you can see yeah, it took the camera can totally look at all that. That's so horrible. So I don't know if I put a light bulb inside there or something so I can see what's going on there. The wind is just like a nightmare today. Yeah, I shot the 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 end to the last video and then got to work on this. And I started finding stuff and started thinking about it. And then, bam. So that's what I've been doing for the past few days. I'm moving out here in less than a week. This will not be done in a week. I still have to buy the shower. I have to basically buy everything that I want. I think, I'm not a plumber. I'm, I'm an electrician, if anything, right? Electricity, just no problem. Plumbing, eh, right? It's gonna be an adventure. It's gonna be a learning curve. So, I I think I have to have every single thing that I want to put in here. So I need the drain gizmo for the this and this is going to be a whole wet wall. And I'm just going to I'm just going to make it, you know, kind of exposed, you know, uh cuz I'm learning plumbing, right? So if it's all nice and out and everything where I can see it and observe it and see if I make any mistakes, like that's kind of that's just a benefit of of doing this right now is I get to do this little mini project and learn like kind of like my solar project in my RV. Like I did a little mini project, I learned I did my wind project, you know. It's like that's kind of how I learn stuff, right? So I just need to buy all the parts, buy all the, all the plumbing stuff, and then um, put it together, you know? And so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, it's, uh, honestly, when, I, if, when this is done, if everything works the way I think it should work, then um, I'll actually have, well, Oh, hot water tank too, hot water tank. That's the only thing I gotta remember I need to put in here too. So yeah, it was like a hot water tank, a shower, a sink, a toilet, the washing machine, the pump. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's all gonna be right there, right? So that's like phase one because as far as power is concerned, I get my, uh, my power box installed on Thursday and um, then I'll have power. All the power I need. Just turn the truck on, 
I got all the power I need. Eh, I don't have all the power I need because I don't have a 220 for like running a dryer. So I'll have most of the power I need, right? And when I do buy the permanent generator, the permanent generator and the permanent system will have a 220 volt uh, capability in the system, right? But that's, that's still a ways away. But the, so anyway, what this is going to enable me to do is actually be, a, you know, <laughs> in some ways I'll be better set up, right? Because I'll be able to have a full size shower instead of just a little mini shower, a little duck shower with the full size hot water tank and a washing machine, right? So, you know, and I had to drive to Prineville to do laundry. Was that was like every week or every other week? I don't remember. But right now I only have enough clothes. I got to do laundry every single week, right? So that's like a lot of having to go to Prineville every single week to do laundry. And so this is going to make it so I don't have to do that. It's, it's huge, right? And then once that's all done, um, I've got this trailer parked out there that's been for sale for a long time. And it's worth about the same amount as a one trip shipping container, a 20 footer, right? So one tripper, super clean note. Like this one kind of has a little bit of a smell to it. So you wouldn't want to live in it. You could be inside of it for a while, but you wouldn't want to like sleep in it or anything like that. I wouldn't want to sleep in it. So now I'm thinking about getting a one tripper and then just parking that right on the other side here, possibly possibly, or a tent or something, I don't know. For, the, for, for, for a while though, the back of my station wagon is gonna be where I sleep, right? So, which, you know, it is what it is, you know? It's like, uh, it's just a place to sleep, right? And then I got my property where I can be outside and do whatever. So it's gonna be rough for the first while until this is set up. When this is set up, it's gonna be a lot less rough. It's really gonna be not bad at that point right because I you know I mean that's all pro stuff there I mean like that's pumps and you know and then a hot water tank and you know this will this will be this will be and I've even thought you know like once I get my house like there's a lot of people out here that just don't have showers or washing machines or anything and you know you know I could just have a yeah you can come out here and you know just drop some money for the the electricity and the water and go ahead and take a shower man so definitely a lot of uses for it um but then the other side which is the storage right now will be um the power the solar system so i'll start building out a solar system on there now <laughs> That's so much money that I don't know. And I still might just go to Thailand too. Like I'm at, when this all this this bullshit's over with, I might still just go to Thailand because um, I just kind of need a break. Would be nice, you know. I mean, as nice it is as it is going to be to have all this shit, it'd be much nicer to just like live in a fucking place for two, three hundred bucks a month and eat for another four or five hundred bucks a month just live cheaply in in nice weather and, and ride motor scooters around and you know just you know not I don't know we'll see I might get so into all this and might get enough work I mean I got my first job on my back or second job on my back home. first job like actually taking it to some place on the trailer though and a whole day not just a couple hours so if that ramps up a little bit that could keep me here too because really that's the bottom line if i could be making more money then you know it's because basically the money i make is just like enough to live on and pay my bills and then I just get a little something every month which that little something every month was fine when i had everything but you know and i could just add like it took me like four months or something or five months to, to do my uh wind generator thing right all the shit you know i was just buying this buying that over the, over months literally before i actually got a fucking you know get power out of it you know and then that's that's my reality so now if I was working my backhoe instead of just having it just a fucking cost me everything all the time, 
that money that I make from that then can accelerate all this other stuff that I'm doing basically like I can uh, you know start to do a solar system for instance right and uh, you know another wind system and a, and a real deal generator the diesel I think is a generator that I'm gonna go with a diesel generator that gets like I mean I might even mount it in here I might e I mean that might even be part of what goes in here too I mean you know there's really once you get your power to the AC you can kind of ship it a ways I don't know I'm a long ways away from having a house ready to go and it's not a big deal to pull stuff apart and move it so I don't know that getting this stuff all built out in here to where I have all that for for whatever this is just gonna be and it's honestly like I already had the washing machine I've kind of comp contemplated taking it to this appliance place possibly and freaking trading it and its brother in for just a, a simple washer machine not this like fancy fucking thing right but that's just more hassles that I don't think that thing takes any more power than you know some simple thing so but uh, yeah so that's where I am right now uh, peace there's a really big bird.